good afternoon everybody so today a um, little bit of a shop update I got a few things a few new things I guess and then uh, I think I'm gonna run down by my grandpa there and kind of discuss uh, walk through the two buildings down there before we uh, before we take them down and discuss kind of possibly what our plans are as far as that goes. We got the round baler down and got that pulled out. So you can see here we got four wheels again on here. The only thing that's left with this is I am missing one flail in there. So I gotta put, I actually have to put two flails in uh, to balance it. You, you can't just put one brand new flail on, you have to put uh, two on. So uh, the one that's missing and the one directly opposite of that. So uh, that's stock choppers for you. Um, I picked up a chainsaw the other day. Um, one of a one of the cheaper models, I guess. Uh, I just need it for cutting up, cutting up uh, any sort of wood that I'm gonna use for that and whatnot. Um, the other day, I ordered a bag of seed. Um, now this is gonna be this is gonna be planted into my pasture out back. Actually, I think I'm going to plant it out back and I'm going to plant it up by the road. Um, but it was a mill, millborn seed. So this is called uh, premium graze. Here, here's a sticker. Um, it's got a bunch of, uh, bunch of stuff in it. Um, there's some... Um, Sorghum, sorghum sedan, like a quarter of that, uh, there's some millet, um, some radishes, turn, I don't know if it's turnips and radishes or just one or the other, I don't remember. Um, so that's an annual, plant that. I'm going to plant just a small portion of the pasture back here, um, and my goal is to uh hopefully produce more tonnage on small acreage to accommodate for my growing herd um it might completely blow up in my face i don't know if it does well we'll uh we'll bail it up or we'll cut it down bail it up make silage out of it and uh, next year we'll plant some some grass seed or something in there uh, and just might just be what we got to do. Um, now I, I think I'm going to put it up by the road as well. So my thinking out there is it doesn't really pay for me to um, plant any sort of grass or anything out there because I am dumping bales out there and they're they're on it for an extended period of time so they're really ripping it up and whatnot and uh, I don't think any anything's gonna grow there very well um, I, I could be completely wrong but I think I'm gonna clean that up and then uh, early summer sometime we're gonna put that in see what happens maybe if, uh, if my pastures back here get a little uh, behind I'll run the cows up for a couple weeks something like that we'll see um, and I'll probably talk about that more when I get out to actually doing it. So we're going to head down the road, walk through those buildings, and uh, discuss what we're, what we're up to. Alright, so I am down by what we call my grandpa's place. Uh, and actually in the near future, it's going to turn into my parents' place. Um within the next year or so but that's a different topic but anyways we are standing what we call standing in what 
we call the pig barn. Now this uh, this building was on the property when uh, my dad bought the farm uh, in, in 2005. Um, and uh, it's the pig barn, so I'm assuming he had pigs here at one point. Um, may, maybe there was Maybe he put calves in here, or chickens, or who knows what, I, I don't know. Um, but this building's been here for a long time. It's a old, pretty old building. Um, now it's pretty windy out, so I'm going to step outside and get a kind of a, get the outside shot of it. But it's pretty windy, so I'm not going to say a whole lot. Um, might have to play with the audio when I uh, go through this, so... kind of maybe tipping in on the back there a little bit. So, um, this building is basically turned into a catch-all over the years. Um, it's... It, Honestly, this building is useless in my eyes. I mean, we could have maybe maybe gotten some bales in here, but I mean, how many how many bales could you get in here? Um, we I think we might have parked the tractor in here one winter, but uh, I mean, overall, it's that's all it's all it's been used for, and we we just. You know, stuff's gotten thrown in here. We got old topper off the old truck. And uh, some of this stuff was already here. But, uh, I mean, some of... My grandparents have thrown stuff in here over the years. And it's basically been storage. Um, here we got some, some paneling for... That we used for maybe the chickens or something. Um, there's, there's two doors here. There's one, one there where the, the pigs or whatever he, he used it for could go out. I think there's one, actually over there, there's some plywood against the wall. That's probably where it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would have liked to maybe utilize this building, but it's, yeah. So, um... As far as, uh, you know, the building's kind of useless for the time being, we are seeing some major uh, issues. Um, and this is what I mean by issues here. Uh, there's a giant crack that goes all the way through, all the way, I think all the way from one end to the other. I think this entire half of the building is starting to fall away from the and I th yep there's a big crack over here as well so I think that half of the building might be kind of falling out that way so um, even for being storage you know you get a little little leery about throwing stuff in here just because you don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to bring 20 tires down here, you know, that are 20 good tires, stack them in the corner, and then uh, the building falls over. So there's also a uh, upstairs hay mow. Oh, it's pretty dark up there. We actually, we did actually put some straw up there. Um, a couple years ago when we uh, little bailed all our straw, we actually, we put a bunch up here. Um, 
I, a couple loads maybe I don't it wasn't a whole lot and uh, yeah I used, used it you got some use out of it I guess but uh, yeah we got a handful of stuff we've put lumber in here over the years you know just overall overflow I guess and storage so I gotta clean this up hopefully by uh, possibly this weekend this building might be um, gone so now I'll flip you around I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to talk about this building this is what we call the corn crib uh, mainly because it, that's exactly what it is it was a corn crib um, now we actually got some use out of this building because uh, we, we stacked bales in it and uh, we've stacked bales in it ever since we uh, ever since we had cattle up here probably that second year or, or uh, you know whenever we got the cattle yard put in up here and uh, the one year my dad and I took the floor out of it and we nailed boards across um, in the higher up in the peak so we could go a little higher and uh, if you can see this black pipe here um, so the, the whole building is starting to lean uh, in this direction and we throughout the summer and winter we had that yellow Ford sitting in here um, we, we used it to move bales and load bales and whatnot and uh, started to notice that the building was starting to lean in this direction well I, I told dad I said maybe we should uh, maybe we shouldn't park that tractor in there anymore and as a joke he leaned that pipe up against there and uh, it's been pretty windy it, it was pretty darn windy yesterday and that pipe is tight now that building is leaning that pipe might be holding the building up <laughs> And uh, in all honesty, it could it could be. Um, I think we had some pretty high winds this last year, and it kind of shifted the the base of the um, the cribs there, kind of off the cement, and you know we're it's starting to kind of deteriorate. So I'm gonna. Basically, the other side looks just like this, but I'll, I'll walk up in there. I don't know if the wind's howling through there or not. So just while I'm here, I mean, she's tight, and I've noticed that this is starting to, this was cracking the other day, and now today I'm over here, and the pipe is, it's wedged in there and that's kind of concerning but i mean overall you know this building has really served its purpose um so yeah it, pro probably the issue is we uh we did take the floor out but um that was a number of years ago already i uh yeah, that was, that was a few years ago. Um, we just kind of went through and we cut the floor out and we nailed these these boards in, which we should really try and save if we can. I wonder, I wonder how hard that would be. I don't know if we want to start uh, cutting them out of here and then the building tips over on us. Um, but a lot of the other junk in here is just accumulated over the years and, and actually I think a lot of it was left from the previous owner. Um, nothing, nothing really worth anything. Um, anything that was any good was taken out of here at one time. There's a lot of tires here too, but, uh. So yeah, I mean, uh, another building. I know some people 
they get pretty irritated with others when they want to take down old barns and such but you know a farm is basically a business and you know really these two buildings are just taking up space they're not we're not really using, I mean, we're, we're using this one, but it's in its current state. We don't know how, how much longer we're going to be using this building. And honestly, I'm not even sure I should be standing in here right now. Um, maybe I'll stand closer to the door. Because uh, I can see the whole thing's just kind of starting to shift. Now, um... Step one for uh, the teardown process. A couple years ago, probably five five years ago or so, we went through and we tinned. We put tin on the roofs of both of these buildings. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. Um, try and find a use for it. I don't. I don't know. I said I, I might finish the ceiling in my shop with it. It is green tin, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, so we're going to try and get the tin off. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, I don't think. It, it should be a whole lot easier than putting it on, I would, I would hope to think. But uh, we'll try and get it off and... probably just give it a little nudge and it should probably tip over um, and then we'll have to clean it up and so yeah so as long as I'm here this might this video might get a little long but uh, I wish you know sometimes I, I wish I would have uh, started YouTube sooner and uh, because there was a dairy barn here, an old, old barn. Uh, and we used it a couple years, actually many, many years for the steers. And uh, we had taken that down and uh, put up this building. And uh, I guess there's not a whole lot to talk about. I, I wish... Uh, out of the wind here actually let me get get the truck i i wish i would have had some video of that or you know something i i might even have uh I'd have to really look, but I might have some video of them pulling it over. Um, we had, we actually had some guys come out. They were going to take the wood. Um, now you got to watch those guys when they, uh, when they come to do that. Uh, we didn't ask for any money when they, they were taking it. Um, we just asked that they took it down and basically... I mean just just took the majority of it you know we're not we didn't care if they cleaned everything up um but we were on a time schedule and they were kind of they'd show up and work and work and work and then then we didn't see them for a week or two and then they'd come back and work and work and work and then you know it's kind of the same same deal and uh finally we're like we we need to start we wanted to start building that shed and we kind of went to or we contacted them and you know we're like we need to do this the barn needs to come down this week and uh i think they came and pulled it over actually it started leaning it started leaning towards the towards the steer yard and uh because they had all the boards off i think and everything and it started leaning the wrong direction 
So then they come and they pulled it over. Um, and then, then we couldn't get a hold of them after that. So we just, uh, got rid of it and, uh, started building, uh, building the barn that's there now. So I'm going to end this video and I'm probably just going to make another video right after this about what we're planning for this spot right here. And, uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that and like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.